In looking at people who met with Jesus, we've sometimes seen people who met Jesus on their own. We've sometimes seen people who've met Jesus as part of a crowd. We've also seen people who just stumbled across Jesus in their daily lives, some who looked out for him particularly, and some who were introduced to him by someone else. And I want to talk today about people who were introduced to Jesus by someone else, someone completely unexpected, the woman who met Jesus at the well. Let me talk about the people of the city. I'm reading something from John chapter 4. At this point, the disciples of Jesus came and they marveled that Jesus talked with a woman. Yet no one said, what do you seek? Or why are you talking with her? The woman then left her water pot, went her way into the city and said to the men, come see a man who told me all things that I ever did. Could this be the Christ? Then they went out of the city and came to him. And then just a little bit further on, it says this. And many of the Samaritans of that city believed in him because of the word of the woman who testified, he told me all that I ever did. So when the Samaritans had come to him, they urged him to stay with them, and he stayed there two days. And many more believed because of his own word. Then they said to the woman, Now we believe, not because of what you said, for we ourselves have heard him, and we know that this indeed is the Christ, the Saviour of the world. Well, it's amazing what happens here because these people are surprised. Now, it's difficult to put into words just how surprised they would have been because this woman had been living in their midst, but she'd been hiding in their midst. She was so embarrassed about her past, the husbands that she'd had, and the man that she was with now who wasn't her husband. She was so embarrassed that she didn't even come out to gather water with everyone. She'd wait, looking behind the curtains as it were, until she thought the coast was clear and at the heat of the day, when everyone was having their siesta, off she would go to the well and sneak out and sneak back and hope that nobody saw her. And then one day, instead of sneaking back into the city, with her water pot, she comes running, no water pot in sight, she's left that back at the well, and she's so excited, she's shouting out, she's knocking on people's doors, she's saying, come and see, come and see, come and meet a man who told me everything I ever did. Could this be the Christ? And obviously, it's such a surprise, you, you just don't see this woman, who is she? I mean, where's she been all this time? And now she's saying she's had an encounter. She obviously has. She's turned from Mrs. Shy or Ms. Shy to, to Mrs. Extrovert, suddenly wanting to, to be telling everybody about this person she's met. So it starts with a big surprise. It's a big trumpet blast, isn't it, really? When someone does that which is completely unexpected, seemingly out of character, it catches your attention. So these people had their attention caught, not by Jesus in the first instance, but by someone who'd had an encounter with Jesus. That's amazing. It's like dropping a pebble in a pond and just seeing how far the ripples can spread. And they certainly spread on this occasion. And the men of the city, they go out to meet Jesus. And when they met him and they talked to him, they say, come and stay with us some days. And so Jesus actually commits time to spend with people in that city. And it says that many believe because of the words of the, the woman, come and see a man who's told me all that I ever did. And many more believe because of the words that they heard Jesus say. But the testimony in the end is it, it's not actually, they said to them, it's, it's no longer just because of what you said. It's because of what we've seen for ourselves. Now, that's a great outcome because you're no longer dependent upon someone else's opinion. You've now come to a conclusion that this is for you and you've made your own personal commitment and you've had your own encounter with Jesus. You see, we can start with a second-hand encounter, but in the end, God doesn't want us to stay with a second-hand encounter. He wants us to have our own encounter too. So we can learn that from the people who lived in the city in Samaria.